Hello guys. I'm weird. <laughs> Hello! I am back with a book haul. The best videos ever on YouTube. So I finally stepped my butt into the library for the first time in forever. No, I'm just kidding. For the first time in a very long time. And I think like six months. Longer than that. Seven months? I don't know. But it's been a long time and I am so pleased with what I got today. I cannot wait to show you. I'm looking forward to it so much and so I'm just going to get right on into it. I have 10 books that I got from the library and I went a little hog wild because I haven't been in a while and I probably was a little bit over ambitious but that's okay because I'm pretty sure I will be able to read all of them by the time they're due and then I can get more. So yay book addicts. Yay! So the first book I got sounded amazing and so thought-provoking. I had to get it. And it's called The Way We Bared Our Souls. And this is by Willa Strayhorn. And this is about five teenagers that are sitting around a bonfire in New Mexico, in a desert in New Mexico. And they are just talking about like their biggest burdens and what they have to deal with. And they kind of talk like how it would be interesting if they could like switch burdens and they kind of say well your burden isn't as big as mine and mine's the best and mine's the biggest and I have the most to deal with and they fall asleep and when they wake up they realize that their burdens have been traded with each other and it's just how they're dealing with it how they deal, deal with life and maybe possibly realizing that some people might have it worse and to walk in other people's shoes and I cannot wait to read this I think this sounds amazing and so different and like I said, thought-provoking and a really a, a necessary book for me right now because I'm, you know, having to go through some stuff myself. So I can't wait. And um, I'll read you the burdens that they have here on the back listed. And it says, Lo has a family history of MS and it's starting to come down with, and it's starting to come down with all of the symptoms. Thomas, a former child soldier from Liberia, is plagued from traumatic memories of his war-torn past. Ellen can't remember who she was before she started doing drugs. Kit lost his girlfriend in a car accident, and now he just can't shake his newfound fear of death. And Kaya would do anything to feel physical pain, but a rare condition called CIP keeps her numb. How amazing is that? Like seriously, I cannot wait to read this. I am so pumped. So the second book I got, I have read before. But funnily enough, I was thinking about this book I think two days ago and I couldn't remember, like I remember some bits and pieces of it but I couldn't remember the actual book and then it suddenly came to me. So when I saw it at the library, I thought I wanted to reread it. And that is Abandon by Meg Cabot. And this is about a girl named Pierce who has a near-death experience and she also I think had um, an issue come up at school and she moved from Connecticut to Florida to kind of reinvent herself and try to get a fresh start and she meets John Hayden who kind of is lurking around and kind of being creepy and so but she can't help to be drawn to him of course naturally and so she is trying to figure all that out and um, he is reminding her of her trip to the underworld when she had her near-death experience and that's not a spoiler guys it's in the um, description but it was really good I liked this series a lot and I think the first book is my favorite so I just thought to reread it just for good time's sake you know just and kind of to get myself back into reading more um, I'm back now but you know just one of those feel good go back to good old classics you know one of those so I got that one because I liked it so the next book I got is called The Game of Love and Death and this is by Martha Brocken bro bro something I'm sorry if I butchered your name I don't even know if you're watching but I apologize if I did I'm sorry so I'm just going to go ahead and read the synopsis because I know I'm going to do an awful job of explaining it and it sounds really incredible and I want to give it the credit that it deserves. So it says in Seattle in 1937, two 17 year olds, Henry who is white and Flora who is African American, I'm so excited about that, become the unwitting pawns in a game played by two immortal figures, love and death, where they must choose each other at the end or one of them will die. How amazing is that? And I love, love interracial relationships and diversity in YA. 
I had to get it. When I found out that Flora was um, of an African American descent, I was like, okay, done. I don't even care what it's about. I want to read it. So I am so stoked about this. I can't wait. This sounds so good. And the cover is really incredible. So, and I love like the 30s, you know, 40, 20s to 40s is like my genre, which I really like. So I'm super excited about that. And the next book I got is one that I have rented before, but I remember reading like a chapter or two of it, but having to stop because I had to return it or something happened and I remember enjoying it. So I went ahead and got it today and I know that there is a sequel out already. I saw it at the library, but I didn't get it just in case and I had like a million other books that I wanted to get to. But it's called Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, which I love the title of this. It's so cool. And this name, April Genevieve, I don't, I'm not even, I'm not even going to do it, guys. I don't want to even offend the author. But this one is about a girl named Violet, and she is in love with a guy named River, who is renting her grandmother's um, guest house on, like, their land. And um, her mother, her grandmother kind of tells her about the devil and warns her about certain things and she kind of starts to wonder if River is evil and when weird things start to happen. And so this is definitely one of those books that's up my alley and I can't wait to finish it and hopefully it's good. Um, there's been a lot of mixed reviews in the booktube Goodreads community so um, you know I'm going to take it as I may and go in blind. So. I'm excited to read it nonetheless. I also got Chasing Power by Sarah Beth Durst. And, ooh, the glare is really bad. So this book is about a girl named Kaya, and she has telekinesis powers. She's telekinetic. That's probably a better word. She's telekinetic, and that means she can make things move and, you know, that kind of thing. And so she's a master shoplifter. And so she meets this boy, and I think his name's Daniel. Um, yeah, she meets... A guy named Daniel and he mysteriously knows about her telekinesis and his mother has been um, kidnapped and the ransom that he needs to save her can only be attained obtained by someone with um, Kayla's powers and so she kind he kind of like blackmails her into helping him and it sounds amazing and so I can't wait to read this um, yeah, it seems very fast-paced and exciting, and I wanted, like, a more adventure-type type of book. And I love the color of the inside. That purple is gorgeous. Woo! So the next book I got is called The Immortal Rules, and this is by Julie Kagawa. And <laughs> the reason I got this book is I was craving kind of like a fantasy type of book, and I did read The Iron Queen, the first one, I can't even remember what it's called. Um, I think it's actually in the inlay. Um, the Iron King. Yeah, so I read that one, and I also read The Iron Daughter, and I think I read The Iron Queen, if I'm not mistaken. And then I kind of stopped, and I was like, I know there's like a few more books past that, and so I just knew that I couldn't catch up. So I decided to get her like next series and maybe I'll like it. I really liked The Iron King and so I am excited about this and honestly I didn't really look at the synopsis or what it was about. I just checked and made sure that this was the first book in the series and then just got it. So I'm not quite sure what it's about. Um, I know it's about some vampires somehow and how she lives like in this girl alley. I think her name is lives like outside in like the fringe where it's like you have to scavenge for food and stuff like that and she has to go like on obviously some sort of adventure and so I'm actually really pumped about this book I haven't heard much about it but then again I haven't been in the community that um for for a while but this book was published in 2012 and I I, I think I remember hearing about it but you know I didn't obviously read it so I'm excited to read it and see what she's about in this one and um yeah I was just craving like a more fantasy kind of novel so I'm excited to read it. This next book I am so excited to read. You don't even know. I cannot wait. This looks amazing and it's called My Heart and Other Black Holes and this is by Jasmine Wenga and I have heard really good things about this book. It's about a young girl named Azel which I love her name. Yeah. Azel and her hobby is planning her own death. She's suicidal 
and she has had enough and so she starts to plan her suicide and she meets a boy named let's see Roman and they both want to commit suicide and so they kind of make a pact together to commit suicide and as they commit as they commit as they start talking they realize that they kind of it grows into something else and as the time comes closer and closer for them to actually take their own lives they Azel kind of thinks well maybe do I really want to do this and so I mm, I can't wait and I think a few other booktubers have read this book that I used to um, watch before I left and they said that it was really good so I can't wait to read it it sounds amazing and I think it will make my stomach hurt in a good way and I love those kinds of books so I really can't wait to hear their story does this really even need an intro no, I'm just kidding. This is Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. I love Stephanie Perkins. She is so awesome and she's such a really, t she's such a talented author. And so, uh, like another one that I just got, I didn't even look at the synopsis, what it was about. I just knew I wanted it and I know a few people in the booktube community, particularly Dylan and Melissa, will be very excited that I got this book. So I can't wait to read it and finally catch up and not be totally in the dust when it comes to this book. The next book I got, I'm really pumped about, and I think this might be the first book I read because I think it'll captivate me totally, but it's called The Devil You Know, and it's by Trish Dollar. And this one is by a girl named Arcadia, but she calls herself Katie, and she is running herself ragged taking care of her dad and her four-year-old brother. And so one day she goes to a campfire, like a bonfire, and she meets two cousins named Matt and Noah, and they decide to ask her to come with them on a road trip. And she finds out that one of them isn't exactly who he claimed to be, and it starts to kind of get a little scary and I can't wait to read this book. There's something very whimsical and fun about road trips and when you add in like psychological thrillers and like scary things it's like totally up my alley and I can't wait to read it. So I'm super stoked about this one. And the last book I got I had no idea that it was coming out and when I saw it I was like <gasps> Blackbird by Anna Carey and you guys may remember maybe you don't but i am in love with the eve trilogy and it is just amazing and i loved it so much and so when i saw this book by her i knew i had to have it and it's about a girl who wakes up on a um, train station in los angeles and she has no idea who she is she doesn't know anything about herself all she knows is there's somebody out there that's after her and trying to kill her and so she has to kind of discover who she is before it's too late. So the um, action in the Eve trilogy was incredible. And so I imagine this is going to be pretty similar. And I am stoked to read it. So I love the cover too. The cover is so awesome. And um, yeah, I'm so excited to read this. You guys don't even know. Like, you seriously don't even know. Okay, guys, those are the books that I got. I hope you enjoyed watching. I am so excited. I know I always say that, but it's so very true. I am pumped about the books that I got. Like, every time I look over at them, I get more excited. And I can't pick which one I'm going to read next. So I think Random Org might have to choose for me but like i said super excited about coming back to the booktube community starting fresh making a lots of fun videos and hauls and things like that um, i'm pretty sure that this is going to be the only haul i have for june i'm going to try to limit it to once a month um, when it comes to book hauls but you never know so um I also am going to request a couple more books from the library that I know that I wanted to read before. Like right around when I was going to leave, I saw a couple of books that I really liked and so that I wanted to read. And so I'm going to request those from the library so when they come, I will do like a short little haul. And then I think that will be it for June. So now I'm going to take my clothes off and read. I was totally kidding, guys. No, really. I was totally kidding. About the reading part, 